Well, welcome to the newest and most exciting product from Reckon, called Reckon One. Reckon One is the first web browser-based true cloud product that Reckon has produced for the SME market. Reckon have realised for quite some time that we've needed to make our products more accessible to the small to medium market, no matter what their skill set and level of use. We also need to make it as functionally rich as we could to suit all types of businesses. We also wanted to make it cost effective for the business to use so the product um, does not become such a drain on their budget. So in saying that, we believe that Reckon One ticks all the boxes. We thought long and hard about the fact that many businesses have software packages that have a lot of functionality, but they only use a very small amount of these features. This means that the business wastes much of their fees on features they don't actually use. Well, Reckon say, why would you pay for that? Why would you pay for what you don't use? I think that you'll agree that Reckon One makes using accounting software easy and more cost effective than any other product in the market today. So, what's it all about? Well, Reckon have come up with the slogan, Designed by You. The reason for the slogan is that the product is completely designed by the individual user. The system's completely modular, and each module is completely integrated with the others. As you can see in this picture, there are six disks that represent the modules that will be part of the first release. Starting at the top left, we have the core product, which is the main starting point for any user. This contains all of the cash book features and company details as well as the chart of accounts. Along with the core module, you receive a free mobile application. Now, it's one of the most functional applications for any mobile device on the market today. I'll show you it in action a little later, and I think that you'll agree that it's truly amazing. The next module is the invoicing module, and this has a very nice feel to it with everything a small business will need to invoice and receipt for their business. And to the right of that is the bank data module. We have direct feeds from each of the major banks, and for those that we don't have direct feeds for as yet, we are using a product called Yodely. This gives the ability to gain feeds from every other banking institution in Australia and New Zealand. We'll continue to add new direct feeds into as many banks as possible as we build out the product, but in the meantime, we connect effectively with any bank that's needed. The feeds can have rules added to them to make sure that every time particular transactions hit the account, that they're allocated correctly. This makes for very easy reconciliation. The module left and below is something we're very proud of, projects. As we don't believe that any other product in the market of this type and size has the ability to allocate items and time to a particular job. You can also track and report on these jobs by customer, which enables your business owner to have complete transparency on their jobs or projects and know exactly how profitable they actually are. And if you add the next module time billing, you can add all the time that's utilised by each of the contractors or staff on a particular job. You have the ability to enter timesheets directly into the system remotely as well, and you can use the mobile app that's included with the core module to enter timesheets on the road. You can also take a picture of a receipt and allocate it against the correct expense account all without having to set foot in the office. It makes data entry a breeze. Now the last module is GovConnect. Now this is only available to the Australian customers at this stage, because New Zealand don't have any active standard business report portal as yet. And what this enables the accountant to do is lodge returns with the taxation department in real time. Now what that means is that you have a direct link to their portal. And the advantage of that is that you receive confirmations on the validity of the lodgement straight away. Instead of having to wait for them to communicate that forms were lodged correctly in their own time, you receive automatic confirmation that forms are lodged correctly, or if there are errors, then you simply correct them straight away and then resubmit them for instant confirmation. It would be nice for a change not to have to chase your tail anymore. You can su submit the forms and move on knowing that everything is finalised the first time. As you can see in this shot, each module has different levels. Now this is the bank data module and it has four levels. The four here are none, light, medium and advanced. And you're probably wondering why we have a level called none. Well, with every module, we allow you to actually turn it on or off and you don't have to pay for it if you turn it off at the time. You only pay for what you use. When you want to use it again, simply activate it and all of your data will be there ready for you to continue on. In fact, all the data is held for seven years, whether you're using it and paying for it or not. And this keeps the taxation department happy and also the user can be assured 
that they will always have access to their data. If the module is not being used and paid for, then the data becomes read-only until it's activated and paid for once more. Having the ability to use the modules in any combination at any level means that you'll have over 200 different combinations to choose from. This will suit most every size and type of business. You simply choose the modules you need to run your business and pay for what you want. Truly designed by you. Now please have a look at this graph. What it shows you is a couple of different things. Now the blue line at the top um, of the graph shows our competitor's pricing module. It shows that the competitors will want the client to pay for their product for a period of time. Even though you can pay monthly, you'll generally be paying for all of the product for all of the year. Now if you don't pay, then you'll lose your access to your precious data. Now in contrast, you look at the red line. The red line shows the Reckon 1 price instruction. As you can see, we allow the users to turn modules on and off throughout the year. And this leaves a gap in between the two products, which is the saving that a user can make during that year. Now I think you'll agree that the user can save themselves a lot of money by using the Reckon 1 pricing model and product. Now just to reiterate, we have six modules for Australia for first release and five for New Zealand as they won't be using the GovConnect module. The modules are core, invoices, bank data, projects, time billing and GovConnect. Now please keep in mind that as they are added, they are automatically integrated. And for those of you who are asking yourself when payroll and inventory are going to be released, then please watch this space. It won't be long. We will be releasing payroll first quarter 2014. Payroll is incredibly complex, so we want to make sure that it's 100% before we release it. It will be in beta testing for as long as we can to make sure it's everything that your clients need and the performance is as good as possible. And inventory will be released next year as well and will follow payroll as the next cab off the rink. Now, to give you an idea of how the pricing model works, please have a look at this pricing matrix. As you can see down the left hand side, we have the modules for first release. If we take an example of medium sized business that takes medium functionality for the first five modules, and they'll simply pay $5 for each per month. This means that for all of that functionality, they'll only be paying $25 per month, and that includes the free mobile app, which I'll show you in a little while. Now we understand that you'll have many clients on many different types of software. We want to make it as easy as possible for you to convert your clients to the Reckon 1 product. And we're saying that we will have a conversion process in place for all of our Reckon Accounts products, for MYOB, for Xero, and pretty much any other product that allows you to export the data out to a CSV format. We'll start with list files and opening balances and eventually have the ability to convert full transactional detail as well. Now that shouldn't be too far away. We'll also have an API which will allow the user to integrate with third party products if need be, but we're confident that as we build the product out, then there should be enough functionality in all of the Reckon 1 modules that you won't need a third party add-on. Now for those clients who need full functionality right now and want to be in the cloud right now, then we have Reckon Accounts hosted and it's been in the market for over three years now. We actually have a brand new version of this being released quite shortly which just flies. We're very happy with that. And this means that your clients can access fully functional uh, product anywhere at any time. And it also means that just like Reckon 1, you as the accountant can access the client's data whenever you need to and not just when your client is ready for you to have it. And I'm happy to arrange a demonstration of the hosted product at any time that will suit you and your team. So, without any further ado, Let's have a look at Reckon 1. Just like any other Reckon module really, you'll see an icon on your screen with a big R. Reckon 1 is no different at all. We come to a login screen. Uh, very, very simple. If you are an existing client of Reckon's, you'll have a user ID. If you're using Reckon accounts hosted, you'll have a user ID with a dash 1234 or whatever. And you'll already have a password. When you're signing up to the service, you simply go to this screen, sign up for free you get a 30-day trial, at which time you can put in your credit card details and select the modules you want and you simply log in and you're up and running. So let's log in and have a look and see what it looks like. It does take a couple of seconds to log in, it's generally pretty quick um, and I don't think it should take us too long and we're almost in right now, we're loading the books and we're there. Now what you see here are three different books. Now these are our books that I've set up uh, in, in recent times and 
because you're accountants, you will find that you will have quite a lot of these sitting here. Now, instead of having to troll through all the different books, what we actually do is we give the ability to actually search by name and other filters as well to make it much easier to locate the books that um, your clients have been using that you need to use at the time. Now let's jump into Deke's test book here. And what we'll show you straight up will be the Reckon One dashboard. Now for those of you who use Reckon Accounts and Hosted, you'll notice it has a dashboard as well and this is no different. Now we have on our left hand side here, we have a net position and you can see our income, expense, net profit, loss. We can drill down to transactional detail if we wish or I can actually change how that looks and show it as a graph if I want. Some people like to see things differently. I can also change that to show different comparison periods. So I've got this year to date as the main period. I've got a comparison period set to none, but I can select many. And I can select for my comparison two, is this month, this quarter, and so on and so forth. So what it gives us is a good idea of how we're tracking against other periods, quarters, whatever. I can also see my top five suppliers here. I can see my bank account summary. Great thing about my bank account summary is I can see my cash position. So I can see what's at bank, I can see 72133 in my cash account and I can see my trading account 862244. <clears throat> now you can see here by the locks on July, August and September that I have locked those periods off. Now I've reconciled them, I'm happy with them, I don't want anybody else to touch them so I've locked them completely. October, I've reconciled them, oh sorry, it is unreconciled I should say. And that shows by the circle there. I haven't locked it um, because it is unreconciled. I've got no data in November, December and so on and so forth. In my trading account, however, I have locked off July. I've reconciled August and September. You can see that by the green tick. And I may want to put some more data into those, so I haven't locked them off as yet. But I'll do that once I'm completely satisfied it's all correct. October once again, unreconciled. November, December, no data at all. Now I can change this screen around quite easily, I can customise it very simply by adding and removing any of those dashboards that I may or may not want to see. Quite simple. Now what I can also do, if I'm not happy with the way this is set up, I might want to see something in a different order, I can simply click and drag it out of the way and put another one in there if I wish. So I might actually change it just slightly and we'll put our top five income accounts back up there. So we're back to pretty much the way we work. Now, the next thing I want to show you here is the user roles and permissions. We are a little pressed for time, so I'll go through this quite quickly. Anybody who has been using um, uh, the user roles and permissions in our Reckon Accounts and our Reckon Accounts hosted product will know that it's quite strong in the security. You can set up as many roles as you like for as many users as you like. Now, for my administrator here, I have bank accounts, invoices, timesheets. I have full access to every part of the system, and that's shown by a full green circle here. If I only have partial access, it'll be a half circle. I'll just show you that in action, and I've got a user set up here, or a role set up here as a salesperson. Now, he has partial access to invoices, timesheets, suppliers, adjustment notes, and that's shown by the half circle. The full circle, he has full access to projects, email setup, contacts and items. That's fairly self-explanatory. I can add a role very easily straight from here. I can delete or edit a role. And I can allocate any role to any user that I wish. Now, I'm going to take you into our projects module, which we're very, very proud of. And the reason for this is that we can allocate as much time and as many items, uh, expenses, whatever, to a particular project that we wish. Now, I've set up a couple here already. And I'll just show you through it. I've got my project name. It can be a sub-project sub of another larger project. I can build to the main project or build to the sub-project separately. I have my start date, end date, and I can change the status whenever I want. I have a description for it. Now, one of the true powerful things for this particular module is the fact that we can allocate items, customers, suppliers, to any project we want. And these are generally set up because we're going to use them quite a lot. And we don't want to have to keep selecting them or keep setting them up every time we uh, want to invoice for that project. Now, I've also got a regular rate, which is my retail rate, basically, to any Joe Blow. And I've also got a project rate, which would be a discounted rate because it's a large project. Now, 
just to show that in action as well, I'm going to take you into invoices. Now this is a, a pretty neat little part of the system and you can see here I've got all my invoices, I've got 21. Now because of my screen resolution you can't see everything on the screen there but I am actually just scrolling through those and there's 21 of them. Now I have a drafts tab here. The reason I have a drafts tab is because I have a the medium version or medium level of the module selected when I was setting up, I have an approval process. And what that means, and I may have management that need to approve any invoice that I've actually set up before actually sending them out. So they will sit there as draft until they're actually approved by my manager. Then they'll see them in the approved tab and then they can be sent out and further on paid. I can add an invoice from here very, very simply, which is just what I'm going to do. Now, as we can see here, I have an invoice. <coughs> and I'm going to select a customer, Cyril's Concrete, and it's tax inclusive. I have my invoice date, I have my due date, I have everything I need there so that I can actually allocate this invoice to a particular project. Now I've got my two projects here, I'm going to select the boiler room, and because I have items already set up under my projects, you will see them here under the project item list. But I can also select anything um, just randomly from my normal item list as well. I'm going to select trusses here. The price is already uh, pre-selected because we did set that up earlier and I'm going to put here to hold up the roof. <coughs> Don't need it falling down and I need 50 of those to hold up the roof and we're going to follow it through. Now as I said I need to approve that before I can invoice it and that little message there is just telling me I can't make any changes once it's actually been approved. Now, to make this um, even more interesting, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to show you the mobile application. And I know that's pretty quick on the Reckon Run product itself. We don't have a lot of time, so I would like to take you through that in more detail at a later date. You just contact me when you're ready. Now, what we can see here is my mobile phone, basically. And you see I use Golf, Flick and Citibank apps, but I also have my Reckon One app. As simple as clicking on that and because the security is so strong within the system I need to put a password in because we know that people lose their mobile phones and if they lose it we don't want people getting being able to get access to your books without permission. So this only takes a couple of seconds to log in as well and we're pretty much there. And You can see my contacts are sitting there straight away it's just finishing loading books there we go, Bill's Bathhouse, Bob's Builders, I can see exactly um, what's happening with those guys, what uh, details I need to know. We've got their, their, their business name, we've got their phone number, we've got their email address. Very useful information while out, at the road, um, out on the road. Now what I can also see here is my invoices. I can see exactly what's overdue and I can see that by the red dots that are um, next to the overdue um, word there. Now I can scroll up and down there using my finger on my iPhone. Today, uh, invoices that are due today, due within a month, due after a month and so on and so forth. Now if you remember correctly we put an invoice in a little while ago and I'm pretty sure it was invoice number 40 which it should have been, which has been approved. Cyril's Concrete, yep that looks right to me. Yeah, it's 2000 to hold the roof up. So you can see there that all the information has flown through flowed through from the web application seamlessly, very, very quickly, and it's completely integrated. Fantastic little app, and we will be building this out more, obviously. Now, it's very easy to get around, simple tap in the left-hand corner. I can also see my dashboard. I can see my income and expenses. So if I'm mobile, there's sort of information that I would like to know as a small business owner. I've got all my invoices from there, and I can see everything that's uh, due uh, or is overdue, as we were saying before. Now I won't show you too much more about that. That product will actually be getting built out more and more as well. So you will see some fantastic um, uh, features actually enter that mobile phone application very, very quickly and seamlessly. Now we will actually give you the ability to take a photo of a receipt and enter a timesheet whilst you're on the road via your mobile as well. And that will be in before the first release as well. So thank you very much for your time today. I do appreciate it and hopefully we'll speak to you soon. You should have my contact details. If not, um, my email address is gregd at aps-advance.com and my, my phone number is 02 
Double nine six five one three hundred. Thanks for your time again. Talk to you soon.